Hello YouTube, Pear Shape Brit here. Welcome to episode two of my Pear Ambassador series. If you didn't see the first video, what these videos are gonna be is that I've now become ambassador to a clothing company called O Japan Clothing. So technically these are like endorsement videos. I'm not being paid for them. All my opinions are their own. I just, it's a new company, it's all based around anime t-shirts. In the UK, I struggle getting any sort of anime clothing merchandise without having to fork out like 30 pounds shipping and then like 50 to 70 quid on the clothing item. What happens in these videos is that O Japan Clothing sends me items that they want me to review. I don't have to keep them. Basically, they just want my overall opinion and also to fill out a questionnaire. The questionnaire that they have has five questions. First one in is on a scale of one to 10, how do I rate and feel of the t-shirt? One being terrible, 10 being really comfortable. Then if it's not a 10, what would make it a 10? On a scale of one to 10, can you rate the quality of the illustration? One being awful, 10 being fantastic. And if it wasn't a 10, how would I make it a 10? And lastly, who else do you know that would love the t-shirt? I was not expecting it, but yesterday they sent me two items. I was a little bit surprised, I will admit that. I'm gonna show you which ones they are. I've all got names for them. The first one was the Lolita Panda, and the second one they have sent me, Normal Day. I always do the fits after I've tried them on, but in terms of rating the illustration, I think I'll give this one a 10. I really like the design. Another normal day in Japan, and just, it's so understated to the two characters there. That's pretty awesome. The fact that you've got a giant monster fighting a giant robot. How much Japan in anime can you get? That is really awesome. It's, it's just so fun and I really like it. If anything, I would just like to say I'd love to see this in different colours. So, well, I've got this one in blue, just like a full range of colours, yellow, pinks, green, red. I think that'd be the only thing I'd really want to see for it. There are quite a few people who like the that kind of idea of t-shirt. It's got a monster fighting a giant robot with two people in the foreground going, meh. The second t-shirt is Don't Touch Me Senpai. Obviously, yeah, it's got a bit of swearing on it. If I won't, I would just lower it down a little bit. This one is more based around Yaoi. If you don't know Yaoi, it is basically the uh, sort of name for boy, men, love, and homosexual relationships in anime and manga. Not really catered to gay men, unfortunately. It's more catered to women. In terms of rating the illustration, I'm not really comfortable with some of the stuff that goes on in sort of the yaoi genre. I can't fault the illustration. I'd probably give this one an eight, just because there's a bit of swearing underneath. And again, I just don't, I'm just not a big fan of that for me personally. But I think if you're a really big fan of Yaoi, I really think you'd love this t-shirt. I actually really like the colours. To improve it, I think Don't Touch Me Senpai probably would have just worked and not had the bit underneath. I, I think that doesn't it doesn't need to be completely out, but that that again is just me. I'm not a big fan of the Yaoi genre overall, but again, if you like it, you will probably love this t-shirt. We've done the rating of the illustrations, you know my thoughts, and now we're gonna go try them on. Okay, so this is normal day in Japan t-shirt. Straight off the bat, I love the fit. Um, it's really good, I love, I love this fit. I'm one of those people that really likes her t-shirts to hug her. Sleeve length is great, it's nice and comfortable, I can move my arms. Chest isn't too tight, which is amazing. Sometimes on one's t-shirts you have to go for the next size up because you basically can't physically breathe. Goes in at the back really nicely as well. In terms of improvement, I'd probably like it a little bit longer. Just about there, so it just goes a bit more round. When you've got more fitted t-shirts, they do have a tendency to go up a little bit more. So a bit more length that goes a bit more towards sort of the bottom end of the hip would be a little bit better for me. If you were gonna just make it a little bit longer, probably raise up the graphic a bit more so it doesn't, you know, go over the hip line. But I really like the fit of this. This is such a nice t-shirt. Let's have a look at Don't Touch Me Senpai. 
No, this is not a ladies fit. This is actually a man's medium t-shirt size. I mean, you can fit two of me in here. Just look, I mean, I love the length. Don't get me wrong, the length is amazing. Cause look, look, look. It covers my bum, it's very nice. But it's, it's very big on me. The improvements of fit. It needs to be a lady size. Hang on, let me just pull it back. There we are, there we are, okay, see? So you see, see what a difference it does? If you're a bloke, the neckline's really good. You've got fantastic sleeve arms, I like it. I really love the length of this t-shirt. I always like overly long t-shirts on any woman. I just think we look really good on them. The design looks really good on. If you're into oversized t-shirts for women, then go for it. Um, if you're a bloke, I think you'd probably like it. In terms of comfort, I'll both give them a 10. In terms of fit, don't touch me senpai for me personally because it is a man's size. I'm, I'm gonna have to give it a five, I'm sorry. Fair enough if I was wearing it to um, sleep in. You know, if you're a bloke, then it, I'm sure that'd be a 10 if you're a bloke, but on this one, it's just, it's just no. In terms of fit for another day in Japan, I'd actually give that one a nine, just because again, the length is a little bit worrying me because again, ladies with t-shirts go up. It's rather frustrating in places. Okay, so the two t-shirts that Oh Japan Clothing sent me was Don't Touch Me With Your Yaoi Hands, a man's medium fit, and Another Normal Day in Japan, which is a lady's medium fit. Out of the two, um, in terms of just the, uh, the design and the fit overall, I would say, for me personally, Another Day in Japan wins, just because it's a ladies medium, the design for me suits my taste more. However, I can't fault the look of the design itself of Don't Touch Me Senpai. It's, it's a fairly nice design. It's just a shame that the fit is a man's medium and not a ladies medium. If you like the t-shirts, um, both will be linked down below. In terms of any updates for O Japan clothing, please check out my Twitter link below because I will be uh, updating a bit more on that one. It's a little bit hard to update all the videos when I can. But if you like any of the t-shirts or you're more interested in own Japan clothing, again, link is down below. Please check them out. I'll link their website, their Twitter, which is for Car Clothing. I'll also check out their Facebook page for you as well. I really enjoy making these videos and I hope you do too. So please comment below and let me know what you think. But until then, thank you very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye YouTube!